Okay, yo, uh, Cat Millie here. Um, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic gift set review time. Now, let me preface this by saying three things. One, I love these toys. They're amazing. I'm super excited to have them. They're swagged out. Two, don't judge me. Three, I have ugly hands, so don't look at them. Now, let's get this pony stuff underway. First off, let's just talk about the box for a second. You know, it doesn't even matter, but a strip of ceiling tape is placed right over Pinkie Pie's head on every box. As I sawed this thing open and my heart swelled with joy, I couldn't help but wonder how many excited schoolgirls had gleefully severed Pinkie's ear from the rest of her head with a kitchen knife before me. There was also supposed to be a book that comes with the set, according to this review. It comes with a book. And the book tells the whole story how these ponies come together and how their friendship together creates magic. Well, there isn't a book, but there's a tiny piece of paper that contains little descriptions of the main six pony pals. Let's have a look at that now. Uh, Pinkie Pie keeps her friends laughing. Uh, fair enough. Rainbow Dash loves to help her friends. Yeah, I can see that. Fluttershy likes taking care of her friends. No argument here. Rarity gives her friends great advice. Kind of a stretch, maybe. Twilight Sparkle loves learning from her friends. Okay. But Applejack, she's friendly and sweet. Uh-huh. Interesting how they break from the format here. I guess there was nothing else to say about Applejack. Sorry, AJ. Hmm, so, uh, not quite a book, but the guy also calls Spike a little pony. So, I don't know about the accuracy of this one. This gift set comes with five different little ponies, from the smallest ones to the largest ones. Now it's time to talk Celestia. If you've ever watched an episode of Friendship is Magic or even looked at the back of the very box this toy comes in, you'd notice that Princess Celestia in the show is white, while this rendition is clearly light pink. And it's not just this toy either. As of right now, you can't even buy a white Princess Celestia toy because they don't exist. You can buy one that says, I love to make new friends, flaps its wings, and is nine inches tall, and what girl could ask for more? But despite coming with the royal necklace pendant type thing we're accustomed to seeing Celestia in, that toy is arguably even less accurate. Look at those wings. They light up too, eh? Mm. So why is this one pink? I've racked my brain and can only really generate two possibilities that seem likely to me personally. Possibility one. Hasbro has a whole ton of surplus pink plastic in their My Little Pony plant deep in the heart of China. That sounds just hard to say. That's fine, Hasbro. Fair enough. If someone's gonna have a lot of extra pink plastic lying around, it would probably be you. I can accept that. I can live with that. I can deal with that. Look, I'm living with it right now. It's great. Possibility two. Somewhere along the line, somebody looked at the design models for Princess Celestia toys and said, yo, oh my goodness, why is this pony so manly? And then they made Princess Celestia pink. Let's just think about this for a minute. Celestia's a unicorn Pegasus pony princess of all the Equestria with a flowing rainbowish mane, and she needed color-based gender identifiers. To be fair, she is the tallest pony, so maybe someone unfamiliar with the show or the fact that the word princess indicates femininity might assume that she's the reigning god king of Ponyland. I just want it in white, mostly. Moving on. Yeah, yeah, it's all been said before. Applejack has no hat. I know it, you know it, we all know it. Like Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash, Applejack was a pre-existing character in the My Little Pony verse before Friendship is Magic came along and gave her a nice little new flavoring. Before Friendship is Magic, Applejack was Sans cowboy hat, and perhaps My Little Pony purist Hasbro is still begrudging the addition. But I have another theory. Could this be a season two MLP FIM Applejack toy? Literally, within the last two days, popular My Little Pony-centric blog Equestria Daily has begun reporting on the first sightings of molded versions of Rainbow Dash and Rarity in North American stores. But what you might notice is that Fluttershy is strangely absent. Maybe it doesn't mean anything, but perhaps these toys only suit a coming point in the story where Applejack loses her hat and poor Fluttershy loses more. I don't know. Fluttershy is just my personal favorite and really burns my flank to see her left out like this, but maybe Pinky really is up to something after all. Just a thought. While we're on Pinkie Pie, has it ever been revealed where she sleeps? I'm only up to episode 17 and I could be forgetting something, but this is a complete mystery to me and leads me to believe that Pinkie Pie simply doesn't sleep. As for the toy, no complaints. Probably my favorite in the set. Toilet Sparkle is pretty good too, but what's with the chunk of hair? It's fine, I honestly really don't mind it, but it's like I can see Twilight's actual hairstyle underneath this weird, misplaced chunk. I guess it's just being blown by the wind or something. As for Spike, I have absolutely no clue why he's on all fours. I can't remember ever seeing Spike in this position. Out of all of the little inaccuracies in the set, I gotta say that this one bugs me the most. It just looks weird and wrong. Imagine going to a toy store. You want to buy a Batman action figure, and the only Batman toys you can find are permanently stuck in a crab walk position. Hasbro, you so crazy. Maybe they had a hard time getting him to stand up. I don't know. For a second, I wondered if the previous incarnations of Spike stood like that, but no. Look, here's an older Spike toy that's standing up, so... I don't know. 
I don't get this one at all. Also, this should have come with a moustache accessory. Just a suggestion. Anyways, all in all, I like these toys a lot, and at least in my opinion, there are leaks more loyal to the show than pretty much every other set that's been released to date. The only ones that even really come close to the ones that McDonald's distributed with Happy Meals, and even in that set, Applejack is still hatless and Celestia is still pinkish. It's a conspiracy, and don't even get me started on Baby Pinkie Pie, but I digress. The gift set is pretty cool, and it'll be perfect when they release the second one with Rainbow Dash, Rarity, Fluttershy, White Celestia, Applejack's hat, and a really good explanation for why Spike is on all fours neatly contained within the booklet that they promised would come with the first set. Right? Right, guys?